It's favorites time! Hey guys, it's Riley. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, fan diddly tastic day today. I'm doing okay and I'm feeling good, so I thought it would be fun to film a favorites video. Ooh. I'm gonna try to get back into doing this monthly, so here it is, my January favorites. Y'all know I kinda go all over the place with these, so we will see, we will find out. I hope you enjoy. The first section I have in this video is music and music that I have been loving through throughout the month of January. First is no other than Back on Top by the Front Bottoms and I actually got this vinyl for Christmas and it is one of my absolute favorite things right now. It's so good, it sounds so good, I love all of the music on it. As you guys know from my last favorites video, I've been obsessed with the Front Bottoms so now that I have the vinyl, I'm listening to it all the time. And if you like indie rock, I suggest going and checking it out. Number two in music is an old like middle school emo day soundtrack and that is Futures by Jimmy Eat World. I just recently bought this vinyl at Barnes & Noble and I freaked out when I saw it. I was like, this is one of my absolute favorite albums. The music on it is so good. And hearing it on vinyl, it just changes the entire experience. So it's good. If you haven't ever listened to Jimmy Eat World, go check it out. It'll remind you of your emo days in middle school. But like, in a good way. It's not like BOTDF cringe. It's like good music that you used to listen to. And number three, I don't have physically with me, but I'm sure you all know it is a Boys Will Be Boys by Benny, aka Ben J. Pierce. He came out with a song and music video a while ago, and I have been pretty much listening to it on my phone nonstop. It is so, so good. I loved when he put out Little Game, and I loved when he put out Boys Will Be Boys. It's just such a fantastic song, and everything about it is great. Just smash those gender roles. I love it. Time for products. Now, I actually found this product because Ingrid Nielsen had recommended it in one of her favorites videos, and that's how I got into using it. And I have very, very sensitive skin, so I was skeptical, but it's actually amazing. And that is my Burt's Bees body wash. I have really sensitive skin, and I break out all over my body a lot, so like chemically, body washes don't really help with that. Burt's Bees is 99.9% .9 natural, and it works amazing. It also smells amazing because this is the Fabulously Fresh Peppermint and Rosemary Body Wash, which, if you don't already know, mint is one of my favorite scents and flavors, so I was really excited to find that they had a mint body wash. But I don't know, hashtag not spawn, I just really love it. Thing number two that I have been doing is putting on face masks and stuff, and I've never really done that before, but look at how much better my skin looks right now than it has in the past. And I will 100% attribute that to the face masks. That, plus having a routine of washing my face twice, a day has really helped my skin clear up. The only face mask I've used, because it's the only one I've been able to find locally, is this avocado oatmeal clay mask. It's by the brand Feeling Beautiful, and it was like an Allure Reader's Choice winner in 2015. But it deep cleans and it purifies pores, which is like A+. And I think it's great. It leaves my skin feeling great, so recommend. So this is less of a body product and more of a home product, but y'all know my obsession with candles, and my family actually got me my absolute 100% favorite candle ever for Christmas, and that is the Yankee Candle Christmas Cookie Candle. It smells absolutely delicious. I love it so much. Oh my god, it's so sweet and so good. And this is my favorite candle ever, and I usually burn it when I'm filming videos and stuff, but obviously today I wanted to show it to you guys. And it is the Christmas Cookie Candle, so it is a seasonal candle, so it's not available all year round, which is really frustrating because it's my favorite, so that's why they got me the huge one. This is a 22 ounce Christmas cookie candle, and oh my god, it's my fave. I only have one thing for my food and drink section this month, but it has actually been vanilla tea. It's French vanilla. The kind that I have is Bigelow brand, and that with a little bit of milk and honey is absolutely delicious, and it's a great alternative to coffee. So yeah, it's yummy, it's good, I like tea a lot, we're gonna go with it. Clothes, what have I been loving? Something that I've been wearing a lot more since my top surgery, which I never used to wear before, was just plain white t-shirts. I always had to layer to hide my binder, and it was a mess, but now I can just throw one on, and I feel like I look really good in it, so I have like 10 plain white t-shirts now, and I wear them all the time. So you're probably going to see me wear just a white t-shirt in a loads of my videos from here on out, but today it's chilly so I have this little crew neck on.
Thing number two in clothes is actually this otter's bodysuit. It's from a company called Stay Padded. It's an age regression, like, little ABDL brand. Um, and they're brand new, and they only have this one out. And on Saturday, I will have a full review video on this out on my little channel, which is linked below if you want to check that out and subscribe over there to see it. But it's super soft and comfortable, and it's got cute little otters doing little different ottery things on it. And I love, and it's very comfortable and it's got blue trim and I 10 out of 10 recommend. Now for my little random section, I have two Starbucks things in here. One of them is an on Starbucks brand thing, which is this mug that David actually bought for me for Christmas and I love it and it's so beautiful and I think it is hands down one of the best mugs I've ever gotten. Whoa, the focus just got really wonky, I'm so sorry. But yes, this mug is 10 out of 10, it is so cute and David knows how I love just a white mug and it's got a very simplistic thing on it and I think I think that's perfect for me. Thing number two is related more to age regression, but one of my favorite shops, JK Baby on Etsy, who makes a lot of like little-esque things, made this, and my friend Sam got it for me for a Christmas present, and it's a Starbucks pacifier clip, and that's so lame and like nerdy, but I love it so much, and it's so cute, and it's just got the Starbucks logo all over it, and I think it's perfect for days where I'm like half regressed, but still trying to adult. And if you want to get yourself something from JK Baby, she also makes like custom some underwear and character underwear and like pacifier clips and little pacifier bags and like all this other cool stuff. If you want to get any of it, you can use my code RileyKyle on a purchase of $5 or more to get 10% off. So that's pretty cool. And she's not paying me or sponsoring me. She just gives me a code to give to you guys and I think that's pretty cool. So yeah, even if you're not a little, I think having a Starbucks pacifier clip is kind of like a fun gag gift. The last thing I have been loving this month is actually word searches, which is really really lame, but you know, I found out that I'm really, really good at them, and it's a really good way for me to unwind before I go to bed, so I've already done like the first 20 pages in this book that are just filled of finished word searches. So that's fun, that's good, I like it, it's a good activity when you don't want to have your phone out. And that is it, that is my January favorites for 2017. Can you guys believe that January is already over? I feel like it has gone so fast. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below and turn on that little bell notification thingy because then you'll get notified whenever I post a video. You can also leave a comment telling me what your favorite things out of the month of January are. I want to go and look and like and reply to all of those. If you hit the two little bubbles on the screen, they will take you to subscribe to this channel and to my vlog channel. And the little video button will take you to my last video. I love you guys lots and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Okay, bye!